Good morning. Today's lesson is 6.3. Okay, today we're going to convert units of weight and mass. Our essential question, how can you use ratio reason, reasoning to convert one unit of weight of mass to another? The weight of an object is a measure of how heavy it is. Units of weight in the customary measurement system include ounces, pounds, and tons. So this right here is going to be key. One pound equals 16 ounces. One ton equals 2,000 pounds. Let's unlock the problem. The largest pearl ever found weighed 226 ounces. What was the pearl's weight in pounds? So first we need to know how many ounces in pounds, how they're related. So if we look up here, we know that one pound equals 16 ounces. We just talked about that. Let's convert 200 and, oh, and then will you expect the number of pounds to be greater than 226 or less than 20, 226? Well, I think it's going to be less than because if every 16 ounces is only going to be one pound and we're talking 226, right? So let's convert now. Think, I'm converting to pounds from ounces. So one pound equals 16 ounces. So I'm going to use the rate one over 16. So we're going to multiply 226 ounces by the conversion rate, which was 116, right? So 226 times 1 over 16. Remember, when we have a whole number, we just add the one underneath. So we have 226 times 1, which is 226. And they have 1 times 16, which is 16. And then 16 can go into 226 14 times with 2 left over. So it's 14 and 2 16 pounds. So then I'm going to think, the fractional part of the answer can be renamed using smaller units because 2 sixteenths can be reduced, right? So if I have 14 and 2 sixteenths, I keep my 14, but 2 sixteenths can be reduced to the 2 ounces, right? 2 ounces out of the 16. So the largest pearl weighed 14 pounds and 2 ounces. The largest emerald ever, ever found weighed 38 pounds. What was its weight in ounces? So 16 ounces minus the 1 pound. So I'm going to use the rate of 16 over 1. Then I'm going to multiply that 38 by 16, right? And I'm going to get 38 times 16. 38 times 16. So 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 4. 19, 20, 20, 22. Put my zero placeholder, right? And then I'm gonna, now I'm done with this one. I'm onto the one. So I get eight times one is eight. Three times one is three. Add those together. I get eight. I get 10. I get five. I get 608. So it's gonna be 608 ounces. Okay? So the emerald's gonna weigh 608 ounces. So model, ma model mathematics. Explain how you could convert the emerald's weight to tons. Well, what I could do is I could multiply 38 by the conversion rate of one ton equals 2,000 pounds because that's how much, how many pounds are in a ton. Now we're getting into the metric system. Remember the metric system's great because you're multiplying by powers of 10, so that just simply means moving the decimal over, which is pretty cool. So you're gonna use this chart right here to help you. Remember you're going up and down by powers of 10. So our example is, Karina caught a trout with a mass of 2,570 grams. What was the mass of trout in centigrams? What was the mass in kilograms? So one way is to use a conversion factor. So 2,570 grams to centigrams. So if I choose a convert conversion factor, 100 centigrams equals one gram, right? 100 centigrams equals one gram. It's right there in my chart. So I could use the rate 100 to one. And then I would multiply the 2,570 by that, right? And so I would get 200,557, 257,000. I can speak today. All right, so the child's mass was gonna be 257,000 kilograms. And again, if you are doing powers of 10, so let's look at this. When I'm doing that, if I did my decimal, let me get my thing here. So we were doing grams right here. We were doing grams to centigrams, right? So that means I'm going this way, one, two spaces. So I've got two, five, seven, zero, and I've got to go one, two spaces. So here's my decimal, one, two, add my zeros, and look at that, 2,257,000 kilograms, right? Or centigrams. 
Now, if I'm going from grams to kilograms, let me erase this. If I'm going from grams to kilograms, one, two, three, I'm going three places this way, so I'm dividing, right? So that means I'm going to take and I'm gonna move my decimal the other way. I'm gonna go one, two, three. So I'm gonna get 2.57 or two and 57 hundredths. Let's explain, it says describe the relationship. Suppose <clears throat> hoots and goots are units of weights. Two hoots equals four goots, which is heavier, a hoot or a goot, and explain. So if that's the case, a hoot, right? Each hoot would weigh two goots, so the goot is only half the weight of the hoot. These are not real weights, but it kind of get the idea when you're comparing, you gotta think about that, which one weighs more, right? All right, you're gonna do the rest on your own or with a partner, and I'm always here for you. Good luck.